Okay, so welcome to circuit. Um, let's get ready for the first little set here. Okay, we're going to go through a warm up, but before we do that, little ankle bend, have it ready. If you have a BOSU, have it ready. And we're gonna have one kind of medium weight dumbbell if you have that option, okay? So have all that ready. We're not gonna use it quite yet, but go grab it. And we're gonna start in with the warm up, starting at the top of your mat. Big exhale, let's do a lean back and just follow through, opening up the whole front of your body. Don't worry about bending that back knee, just find that stretch in your hip flexor in the front. So you want to feel the stretch through the front of the hip, okay? So alternating your legs, big exhale as you bend back. I'm going to get you to do a few more reps here, but this time either stay with bending back or bend over your front leg to get a nice little side bend. So on your next few lunges, just try leaning over the side of your front leg, okay? Just opening up the side of your body, taking a deep breath, finish your last rep, and then coming over to one side of the mat, make sure you have enough room to step sideways. You're going to go down into your side lunge, so this knee is quite bent. Come up and try to bring your knee to your elbow. Okay, so we're going down into your side lunge, up, knee to elbow, okay? So if you need a little pause in the middle, as you get more comfortable with it, let's speed it up a little bit. We're warming up, getting that knee drive. If it's too much to do the, ah, cat dog. <laughs> if it's too much to do the knee drive, just step your feet together. Okay, staying all on that one side, breathing. And let's finish a couple more reps there, and then just make sure you have enough room to do the other side, come over to the other side of your mat, and then start in. So the first one, go a little slow, just get your idea, we're on the other side now, okay? So bending into it, pulling that knee up to your opposite elbow, okay? You'll feel a little bit of core as you lift that knee, okay? So waking up those abs a little bit, add that little bit of speed if you feel comfortable, and just not forgetting to breathe here. And let's finish a few more reps. And three, two, one, perfect. We're gonna do a quick set of power squats. So I want you to start with your arms overhead. Let's swing them behind you as you lower your bum, coming right up onto your toes and letting the arms and the legs warm up. So coming right up, lots of power. As soon as your heels hit the floor, you're coming right back up into your next rep. Breathing. And getting that dynamic body movement happening. Big reach overhead. And on your next rep, let's sink right down as low as you can. So stretch out your hips. My elbows are on the inside of my knees. Just kind of pushing the knees away. Feeling those hips kind of loosen up. Let's do a big exhale, stand up, give it a little wiggle, and then we're coming back down for one more set. In theory, it should feel a little looser the second set here. So just take a deep breath. And then we are coming into this position. Okay, so however you need to get into a plank, get into it, step your one foot all the way forward to your one hand. Again, loosen up those hips if you need to drop the back knee down, drop it down. Holding this on the one side. Okay, so what I want you to do is my right foot is forward. My right hand is beside my right foot. I want you to trade your left hand into the inside of your foot. Raise your right hand up or vice versa if you're on your other side. And let's open it up into a twist. Okay, so my left hand is right in close to the edge of my right foot. Okay, you can keep that back knee down. Let's open up that body. Not forgetting to breathe, one more rep, and then switching it over to the other side. So we're on the other side. Again, hold it for just a quick sec here, just to let that hip loosen up. Back knee can be down if you need it. And then we're moving over to the other side. We're breathing, we're opening it up. And just big exhales there. Feeling that twist through that upper body. Hopefully your body's starting to feel a bit warm. And finish one more rep on that side, and then I'm going to get you to drop to both knees and hands, okay? 
So we have one more kind of twisty thing and then we're going to get going. Okay, so your hand goes behind your head. You come in to the inside of your elbow and you do a big exhale as you look towards your elbow as you rotate. Okay, so in to your elbow, look towards your elbow. Finding that twist through your upper back. Don't forget to breathe out and just opening up through that shoulder. So there's the middle of the back that gets a bit sticky sometimes, so let's just find that mobility. One more rep at your own pace, and then I'll get you to set it up on the other side, okay? So opening up on the other side. Don't forget to breathe. Getting that body a little tiny bit warmer before we get going here. And three, two, one. Okay. So before we go any further, I'll let you know that every exercise we do, I'm going to give you a 10 second countdown before we finish the rep. So just listen to that. So you don't have to pay attention too much. You can just focus on what you're doing. I'll get you to grab your little band if you have it. If you don't, don't worry about this. So I want you to put this band on above your knees. Okay, let's start there. So if you have your band, choose a heavier resistance if you have one, because we're above the knees. And we're gonna start it up. Okay, so I'll show you in one sec here. Grab your dumbbell. We're going to the far side of your mat, and we're gonna start with a side step, double bounce squat, okay? Every time you go to the bottom, double bounce. So you're traveling, double bounce, find those glutes, pull your abs in as you travel across your mat. If you have a large space, a large room, just go all the way over. I'll tell you when to switch over to the other side. So keeping those double bounces, and we're going to go for 30 more seconds. So keep going. If you're traveling all one direction, go back the other way. Keep it going, we've got our last 15 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'll leave it up to you. So band it either stays above the knees or by your ankles. It depends how much resistance is on your band. You're gonna hang on to something. We're going a lateral leg lift. Okay, but notice I'm not going right to the side. I'm going a little bit to the side but a little bit behind my other leg. Okay, so I'm trying to target this area of my glute on the side, okay? Toe is pointed down on the working leg, and I'm not locking my standing leg knee, okay? Timer just started. Lifting that leg up, we're all on the one side. Also be conscious you're not falling over to that side, okay? Keep your body nice and straight. 15 more seconds on this side. If it feels too easy to have the band above your knees, bring it down by your ankles. It'll add more resistance. Okay, we've got five, four, three, two, one. Sorry, that wasn't a 10 second countdown, but we'll switch over. Okay, other side. Here we go, get that set up. And just listen to me. I will give you that 10 second countdown before we take the band off. Okay, so keeping that going. We've got our last 15 seconds here, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and relax. Perfect. Okay, coming in to front lunges. So you have the option of just doing this body weight, or you can add that dumbbell that we had, okay? You're going to step forward. So you're stepping forward, dropping your back knee, coming back to the center. Alternating sides, okay? If you're feeling very enthusiastic about doing this workout, you're gonna add a shoulder press when you come back to the top, okay? Otherwise, just focus on the legs, okay? So shoulder press happens as you step back. Timer started right now. Alternating your legs, so we're moving. We've got our counter on. I like to focus on a lot of the power coming from my core as I'm stepping back, so I'm not super wobbly. Okay, finding that stability, and we've got 30 seconds left. 
So challenge yourself to do as many more reps as possible within a safety parameter here. So make sure you've got the form. Move as quickly as possible, getting that heart rate up. We've got 15 seconds. And last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and we're relaxing. Okay, perfect. We have our dumbbell. Okay, you are going to set this up. Watch my feet. Okay, so my leg is not way back here. It's in kind of close. I've got stability. I'm putting my hand on my knee. I'm pulling my abs in as I do my single arm row from here. So I have equal focus on my abs and my arm, okay? The timer is starting in three, two, one. Put some pressure on your leg, my front knee is bent, and I'm pulling up with my one arm, having to stabilize with my whole body as I'm doing that one arm row, okay? We've got 30 seconds on that one side. All right, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Perfect. Setting it up on the other side. Okay, feet are bent. My front knee is a little bit bent. Core is tight. That's my focus. And I'm doing my single arm rows on my other side. All right, pulling up. Timer has started. Okay, getting that shoulder back. Watch that you're not rounded through the upper body. A nice flat back. We're halfway going into our last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, perfect. So if you have a BOSU, pull it out now, okay? You're going to be on the black side up. Okay, if you don't have a BOSU, your hands will be on the floor. But if you've got a BOSU, I'm going to demo it on the BOSU versus the floor. Okay, so you're picking a leg. The leg comes in, and then we're kicking out. It never touches the ground. So core is tight. Finding that glute on that one side. And if you feel enthusiastic, you can add a push-up. One push-up, one knee drive, one kick, and go. Okay? Don't worry about the push-up if you feel like the knee drive is enough. Okay, timer just started. Keeping those shoulders right over the wrists. Okay, you don't want to be way back here. You want to be right over top of the wrists. All right, we're coming into our last 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Okay, before you do the other leg, quickly come back into all fours. The same leg that was extending is going up now. Okay, so we're going up into the air on that same leg. So hands and knees, kicking the leg up to the ceiling. Timer just started right now. The same leg. Breathing. Feeling that glute. We're halfway. And coming into our last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, relax. Okay, setting it back up onto your BOSU or the floor in that plank position, going into the other side. So remember, you always have that option of doing one of those push-ups if you're feeling enthusiastic about the whole thing. Perfect. Adding that control, nice and slow. Okay, coming into our last little bit here. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, coming on to all fours. Let's kick that glute up to the ceiling. The timer has already started, so move quickly. Getting that other side going here. Pulling those abs in. Perfect. Really firing up your glutes on this series, team. 
All right, we've got our last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we're breathing. Okay, relaxing. Coming back up to standing. Grab that band again. Let's pop it back on above the knees. Okay, so I'll give you a second to do that. Getting it back up to the start. Okay, so the plan is we are going to do those squats again, but this time we're doing it a little differently. Okay, so you'll have your dumbbell if you want it, only on the one side. You're doing your squat, you're doing a shoulder press, okay? So I'm keeping that lateral resistance on the band the whole time. All right, timer is starting. We're all on one side. Here we go. Squat press, all right? Get that bum down, get that shoulder press happening on the way up. If the shoulder press is too much, just focus on the squats. Okay, thinking cheerleader as you do that shoulder press. The arm goes all the way to full extension, okay? Coming into our last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathing. Okay. Quick little switch over to the other side. Make sure you're ready and on your mark, get set. Here we go. So other side. Get that squat happening. Get that shoulder press happening. You're going to feel your heart rate go up on this one. All right. We're already halfway here. Coming into your last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, I'm gonna give you an option for the second part here. So I'm adding in a little bit of pizzazz. So you can do your squat with your double bounce. Okay, that's option number one. Okay, if you're adding in a little bit more dynamic, I want you to jump in and out like this, okay? It's 30 seconds either way. So either doing your double bounce at the bottom, no jump, or adding in those in and out squat jumps. Timer just started, here we go. Perfect, so go with what feels best for you today. Using that lateral resistance, getting that bum down as low as you can do it. And we've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and breathing. Okay, so again, we'll do one more set of the lateral leg lifts. So I'll let you decide if you want the band above the knees or by the ankles. And then let's come in to those lateral, but a little bit behind your standing leg lifts, okay? So all I ask is just don't do it directly in line, do it a little bit behind the leg that's staying on the floor, okay? Timer just started. Challenge yourself to really keep the toe pointing down on the moving leg. If you turn it up towards the ceiling, you're only working the front of your leg, okay? You gotta have it turned down to the floor. Okay, we've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relaxing. And then let's go into the other side. So take a sec to set it up and on your mark, Get set, go. There we go, other side. Finding that control. Perfect. Pointing that toe down to the floor. Just stay focused. We're breathing. We've got our last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay. So coming back to the lunges. So band is going to come off. Okay. Remove the band. Grab your dumbbell. And then this time, last time we were stepping forward, this time we're going to step backwards, dropping the back knee still, and an option to twist over your front leg to get a little bit more core. Okay. So an option to twist over the front leg, I would do it as two separate things, okay? 
Try not to start your twist until you're set up in your lunge. It'll be a little bit harder to do. All right, and more controlled. Timer has started. So lunge, twist, finish your twist, start again. Lunge, twist, finish your twist, start again. Feeling those obliques. If it's feeling really wobbly on the twists, I encourage you to just stay with the linear movement. Don't worry about the twisting if you're feeling wobbly. It's a lot more core. All right, we're going into our last little bit here. So get a few more reps in, dropping that back knee down, maybe a little bit lower, closer to the floor. Let's focus on our breathing. We're going to go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, breathe. Okay, so we're setting it up in our row. So remember we were here, okay? We were with our back foot back, our front knee a bit bent. My hand is on my front knee. Notice how flat my back is, and I'm pulling up, okay? I don't want to be rounded forward, all right? Timer just started. Ready, go. All on that one arm. Be very conscious that your abs are super tight. So I hate this cue, but pull your abs in so tight as if someone's going to punch you in the stomach. Okay, bracing. There's really no other cue to get you to think that way. So just really protect your stomach and your back. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, breathing, set it up on the other side, okay, bending that front knee, and let's pull up on the other side, timer is starting in 3, 2, 1, here we go, perfect, binding those back muscles, great, don't forget to breathe, Okay, we're coming into our last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and relax. Perfect. Okay, so again, coming back to your BOSU if you have it, otherwise your hands are just on the floor. This time when we go into this exercise, I want you to focus more on abs. So we're going to bring your knee into the opposite elbow. And I want you to go nice and slow, just how I'm moving. So really taking the time to reset each rep. All right, shoulders are right over the wrists. Timer just started. And let's try to challenge ourselves to get the knee in as close to your opposite elbow as possible. Okay? So pulling in. Don't add in those push-ups yet. We're going to do a different exercise in a sec. Just focus on your abs. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, this is a choose your own adventure here. You are either going to do chest presses, so you can have two dumbbells coming into a bridge position on the floor or your BOSU, both dumbbells come up, okay? If you'd rather do push-ups on your BOSU, it's on your knees or your toes. Knees, it's angled towards you, okay? If you're staying on your knees, angle that BOSU towards you. If you're on your toes, it's flat, okay? Choose what feels best for you. I'm gonna give you a second to get set up into that. And ready in three, two, one. Let's work those chest muscles. All right, here we go. So getting that full extension of the arms, whatever variation you choose. Love it, choose your own adventure here. Perfect. Okay, we've got 30 seconds to go. So just getting that full control happening. Okay, coming into our last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Okay, so same format. You can do this on the floor or on your BOSU. If you're doing it on the BOSU, 
elbows soon. It's going to be a little bit wobblier. So I want you to focus on not locking out your elbows. And your one toe stays on the floor. And we're doing a bird dog. So your core is tight. I want you to challenge yourself to get your leg all the way to straight. Okay? This exercise will feel quite easy if you're not doing it properly. Okay? So really get that whole body out to straight. Challenge yourself to keep your hips lined up. So don't let the one hip rotate up to the ceiling. Okay, our timer has already started. We're all on one side. And when you think your leg is straight enough, challenge yourself to kick it a little bit straighter. Okay, focusing on core stability. We've got 10 more seconds, and then I'm going to get you to leave your leg extended, but put your hand down in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so the leg stays extended, whether you're on the floor or the BOSU. We're grabbing our dumbbell, and we're doing a tricep extension, okay? My main focus on this is that I'm not locking out my supporting arm. Okay, I have a little micro bend in that elbow. Ready, and they're off. Okay, challenging yourself to keep that leg ballerina straight, core is tight, not forgetting to breathe, okay, no need to pass out. Let's get that full extension with that arm. <clears throat> nice and slow, and five. Four, three, two, and relaxing. Perfect. Okay, so resetting everything up on the other side. The first thing that's happening is those bird dogs, right? So we're getting into that second set on the other side. All right, please be careful you're not locking out your supporting arm. Timer just started. Here we go. So challenging yourself to keep your hips lined up and just getting that leg that little tiny bit straighter at the end. You've got it. Nice and slow. Breathing. And we're gonna go into our last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and breathing. Okay, so remember we are keeping that leg out straight. And you're setting this up on the other arm, we're going into our tricep extensions, okay? So being very careful that we're not locking out our supporting arm. And the timer just started. So breathe. You guys are doing great. Just stay focused. Get in the zone. All right, keeping it going here. And we're gonna go for our last little bit. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and we're relaxing. Okay, perfect. Okay, so coming up to standing, you've got your one dumbbell. You have two options on this exercise. So option number one, notice my feet are a little wider than my hips. I'm wood chopping up across the body. Okay, I'm going to stay on one side. That's option number one. Option number two is I'm loading into the one side and I'm going to lateral jump, taking that weight across my body. Okay? So whatever variation you choose, just focus. We've got 30 seconds. Okay? Here we go. Timer just started. And if you're keeping both feet on the floor, make sure they stay glued to the floor. Okay, no raising the feet. Chopping that across the body, warming up that whole one side. All right, we've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Okay, so we've only done one side, or if you did the jump, you have done both sides, we're gonna give it a sec, and we're gonna do one more thing. Okay, if you have your BOSU, this is how it's gonna go. You're going to jump, jump or step back into a plank, 
and then you're going to come in and then it's going to go into your shoulder press, okay? So jump or step back, jump in, shoulder press. You can also do this with a dumbbell or two dumbbells, okay? So if you have both of your dumbbells or just one, jump or step back in, shoulder press, okay? Ready? On your mark, get set, let's do it. We've only got 30 seconds, okay? Choose what feels best for you with the jumping. Okay, it's totally fine to do the step back. Jumping in, pressing overhead, breathing, and we've got our last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and relax. Perfect. Okay, grabbing two dumbbells. Okay, two dumbbells, medium resistance, if you have them. Okay, otherwise stay with your light ones. We're going down into a squat. We're gonna do our bicep curl as we come up. We're squatting, we're bicep curling, okay? If you're noticing your dumbbells feel a bit light because you have the squat and you have an option to go heavier, maybe grab the heavier ones, okay? Ready, set, here we go. So squat down, bicep curl as you stand. Okay, all of this stuff is pretty dynamic. So let's just keep that heart rate up for a little bit longer here. Perfect. Keeping those shoulders back. We're gonna go for our last five, four, three, two, one. Take the squat out of your curl. You're standing still, your knees are a little bit soft and we're palms facing your shoulder burning out the biceps, okay? So just the biceps here, keep the shoulders back. We're going for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, chill. Perfect, okay. Where are we going now? Where are we going? Okay, I'm gonna get you guys all the way back to your wood shop on the other side. But before you do, can we just grab this Bosu and put it on the blue side, just so you're ready, before we do the wood chops on the other side, okay? So if you're choosing your wood chop and you chose without the jump, you're coming into the other side, otherwise you're doing your lateral jump with your dumbbell for your second set. Okay, on your mark, get set, here we go. 30 seconds. Okay, I promise this is the last dynamic one for a set. Okay, so just keep that heart rate up. Challenge yourself to go quickly. It's only 30 seconds. And we're moving into the last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we're breathing. Okay, chill, breathing. Okay, so good news is we're not doing the whole thing again but we are gonna do a few things that are either the same or similar for a second set, okay? I'm gonna give you the option again. So you have the option of doing the chest presses with your dumbbells in that bridge position for the second set, or you can challenge yourself to do another set of the push-ups either on the floor or on the BOSU. The only thing I'm gonna remind you is if you're doing the BOSU on your knees, let's tilt that BOSU towards you just so it's a little easier on the wrists, okay? Otherwise, you can keep it straight. Timer just started right now. I'm gonna give you one full minute for this last interval, okay? So we're gonna be here for a second. Getting those arms going on that last little bit here. We're moving into the home stretch of this class. Keeping that control. Breathing. All right, we're gonna go into our last 20 seconds here. And coming into the last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Taking a deep breath. Grabbing your dumbbells. Okay, we're coming into the forward fold here, and we're going to do a double arm row, 
okay? If you would rather do your row with a resistance band, you can set your band up and we can do our row using your band, okay? So I'll let you decide, just make sure if you're setting up a band that it's not gonna fly away on you, okay? So either bent rows or band rows, okay? Let's go, and we're doing it. We're starting right now, shoulders back, pulling back. If you've got that band, pulling back if you've got those dumbbells. Okay, keeping the core really activated on both variations. Okay, getting those back muscles one more time. Okay, I'm going to challenge you, we've got 30 more seconds, to take your row and pulse for three times and then let it go. Okay, wherever you are, pulse three times at the top and then let it go. Or with your band, pulse three times back, let it go. Okay, we've got 20 seconds. You can just stay the same if that's enough. And we're coming into our last 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, perfect. So from there, you have the option of doing that burpee again, or you can pull this little towel out, okay? So the burpee is gonna be a little bit more cardio. If you pull your towel out, it's gonna still be a burpee, but it'll be more core. So let me just show you one more time. So it's the burpee, picking up the BOSU or picking up the dumbbells into your shoulder press, or you're gonna have your feet on the towel. I want you to make sure you have somewhere to slide. Okay, otherwise you gotta do the burpee. And you're sliding yourself back, you're sliding yourself in, and then we're standing up, okay? So you can also just step yourself back into this plank and do this without the towel, okay? But that would be amazing on the abs if you can do it. Just be careful that you don't slip. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Okay, nice and slow on the towel one and then as quick as possible on the burpees. Breathing. Coming into our last little bit here. Perfect. We're gonna go for 15 more seconds. All right, last five, four, three, two, and breathing. Okay, we're finishing our class with a little bit of abs here. So you've got your elbows on the BOSU or the floor in a plank, okay? So you're on a plank, BOSU or the floor. The knee is coming up to the outside of your elbow, okay? So we're bringing your knee up laterally. If the knee part feels too tricky, I just want you to hold the plank, okay? So here we go, bringing that knee up laterally, the outside of your elbow. Timer has started. So you're in your plank, and the knee is coming out to the side, whether you're on the BOSU or the floor. We've got 20 seconds to go. Perfect, don't tell me you're not having fun. Last 10, and we've got our last Five, four, three, two, and relax. Perfect. For the next exercise, we are we have two options. So you're here, you have the option of crossing your leg and coming up elbow to knee. Just like this, okay? That's option number one. Option number two, you're coming down to the floor and you're bringing your knee up all the way up into a V-sit on that one side, okay? So the leg starts straight, and then you're bringing the knee up. Choose what feels best for you. All right, 30 seconds, let's go. Okay, whatever variation you're doing, make sure you're exhaling as the knee comes into your elbow. The less air you have in your body, the more core you'll get. Okay, we're coming into the last 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and breathing. Okay, quickly setting it up over on the other side. 
Ready and go. Set it up. Find those core muscles. Breathing. We've got 15 seconds to go. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay. Coming back into your plank. This time I just want you on the floor, even if you have a bosu. So plank on the knees or the toes, okay? And you're rocking your hips side to side, okay? Little tiny rocks side to side. Feel those lower abs kicking in. 30 seconds. Nice and slow. Little tiny movements there. And we're going into our last 15 seconds. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we have two options for the last thing of the day. Option number one. So regardless of which option you're choosing, your lower back is pushed to the floor first. Okay, core tight. Bring your knees to tabletop. Option number one, drop your heels. Bring them back up with a little bum lift, okay? Option number two, the legs are going to go vertical. Double leg drop, coming up, bum lift, okay? Double leg drop, up, bum lift. 30 seconds, let's go. Choose what feels best for you. Just be very cautious that you're only going as low as you can with the legs while still keeping that lower back to the floor, okay? Make that your focus. Okay, we've got our last 15 seconds coming up here. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and you did it. We're done. Thanks for joining me today, guys. That was a whirlwind of activity. If you have time to stay and stretch, let's stretch it out so your foot is going to come to the inside of your thigh, one leg is going to be straight, and we're just going to lean over that leg, giving it a really good stretch through the hamstring and your lower back, taking some deep breaths. Let's just settle into this stretch for a little bit and just let your breathing come back to normal. Just kind of think about all the fun activities you got to do there. And then we're going to come over to your other side and stretching it out over the other side. Nice and slow, feeling those muscles relax. So if you're needing more time in this stretch, feel free to take it. Otherwise, we're going to come all the way up to standing and let's do the front of your legs here. So grabbing a foot and just stretching out your quads, just on either side. So again, don't feel like you've got to go my pace. You can take your time and stretch for longer if you're feeling like you need it. And then I'll get you to clasp your hands together behind your back. Let's fold forward. Taking a couple of really deep breaths. and then letting the hands fall to the floor when you're ready. Let's pedal out the knees and just stretch out that lower back for a sec here. And then when you're ready, let's widen the feet and turn one toe out to the side, stretching out oh, through that hamstring one more time. And then when you're ready, come over to the other side. And then coming all the way up nice and slow, clasp your hands together and tuck them inside out, pushing away from you. And then let's go one little tricep stretch on either side. And that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next week if you're coming.